What's up ladies and gents and we are back with the next episode of Final Fantasy Online. We're going to continue the quest. We are going to make our way now to Garlemol, the one that we have been hearing about all this time in our life uh, in Best of the Best. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's go. Maxima would have you meet your new traveling companions. Other members of the Ilzebard contingent are gathered in the royal palace. I shall inform them of your arrival, so please make your way inside as soon as you are ready. Coolio. Now I'm gonna check something quickly. I unlocked a Puller chest. Not sure what that is. Pewter weapon, pewter chest. Creed, I'm not sure. Right. Give me a sec. Alright, so sorry, just had to take a mom mom ah just had to take a momentary pause there. Uh, for some reason my mic is going crazy red. Hopefully there's no strange sounds in this recording. Alright, so where were we? Okay. So we're gonna go inside. Meet the rest of the contingent. Ah, the remaining members of the Scions. Your friends and most of the Ilzebard contingent. Await in s we await you within. Would you like me to see you through? Yes. Let's go. By the twelve. Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. Tis a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzebard contingent. Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many trusted comrades, yourselves included. Lucia. Come at the behest of Lord Emmerich, who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. For the good of all nations, not least my former homeland, I am determined to see this mission through to its end. We have a hard road ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. welcome this opportunity to work together once more. I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Everyone! If I may have your attention,
Might I ask you to speak first? If I must. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the Elder Seedseer. We shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Gollumon. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild, with the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. Of course, with an experienced white mage such as yourself accompanying us as well, those requiring more involved treatment will be in safe hands. Raya O sends her regards, by the way. Suppose I'd better say my peace. Wait, I know you. The name's Sickard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. Any road, the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, he picked me. Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key haul in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you gotta trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Of course, just like the Gridanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls, believe you me. Well, you're certainly raring to go. But then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarapin and I will be leading from the front. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master Matoya, the Avatar of Destruction. <laughs> With comrades like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then, Let's give it our all. As for Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. The bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days ahead. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. 
The four high houses, House Hylenart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Linksa Lomitsa. There is another awaiting introduction. Lord Emanolain! Ah, yes. Uh, Emanolain de Fortor, at your service. Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. But, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. I dare say your fancy footwork may be all that stands between us and certain doom. Huzzah! I cannot wait to regale on a hoa with my tales of daring doom. I believe that concludes introductions for the Grand Company of Eorzea. Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Would that be the Shinobi of Doma? Actually, they've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Out of my way, you preening fool! Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Sirena, and you've brought company. For battle and blood we come, as the step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. No quarter to the enemy! Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Warriors of the Steppe, we've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... Members of the Dalmascan Resistance Group, Lente's Tears. and the Bosnian resistance. Between them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities, which is fortuitous, since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. Dalmasca, Bosnia, Alamigo, all lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Tilophoroi, the common folk of Garlemald. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused.
Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. But after seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Garleans, there's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. For Dola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Eorzean here knows Sid Garland, the Imperial defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Maxima, who stands with us today, tried to reform Garlemald from within and make peace with Joma. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy. But we're all determined to make this world a better place. What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree with everything you said wholeheartedly. Then we are in accord. Now, let us review our strategy. To reach the Garlean capital in northern Ilsabad, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigational systems, further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. From there, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us, so it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. We cannot account for every possibility, so we must be prepared to think on our feet. We will be tested. Sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back.
bro, that was enough to make a grown man cry. What a f Oh my god, what a story piece. Dang, and then, like, when the warriors and Steph walked in, I, I went a bit, like, teary-eyed. My god. Good memories, man, good memories. <sighs> okay, Ishtola, let's do this. Besides the delegates assembled here, the Amalgia and several other tribes offered to send troops of their own. Unfortunately, due to their physiology, many would struggle simply to survive in the harsh climate of Ilzebard. They would also likely prove tempting targets for abduction by the Telophoroi. All things considered, they can better aid the cause by bolstering our defenses in Eorzea, through their eagerness to do more has been noted. Though their eagerness to do more has been noted. We few shall have to suffice. Ere we embark, we must distribute the warding scales to our comrades. Care to do the honors? Of course. Alright, let's do this thing. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna look a bit cool. This quest. I need like an official uniform for my character. that out later. Warding scales for the Ishgardian delegation, I take it. Many thanks. These talismans, these talismans may prove to be the deciding factor in the battles to come. I find myself conflicted by this foray into Garlemald, sent by the Empire to infiltrate Ishgard, only to throw in my lot with those whose secrets I'm supposed to be stealing. And now, I lead a mission to save the countrymen I betrayed. But that is doubtless why I was chosen by Lord Emmerich. He would have me put my extensive knowledge and former ties to good use. I will not disappoint him. For the future of Ishgard, Garlemon, and the world at large, I will lead us to victory. That, a set of warding scales I spy. Not that I would know what they look like. Wow, look at these. Even a layman like me can tell they're bursting with ether. All the better to fend off the tempering waves. Is that the right term? Anyway, uh, they'll give us one less thing to worry about, which just leaves the other mountain of whatever else is waiting for us in Garlemald. Only one way to find out, eh? And nervous or not, I'd march through all seven hells if it gave me a chance to put Xenos back in the grave where he belongs.
Yes. So these are the famed warding skills. Enough for me and my men, I see. I myself am especially grateful for this opportunity to visit distant lands. I wish to follow in the footsteps of Martyr Atoa and learn all there is to learn of this star we call home. Indeed, that is the primary reason I volunteer to join the expedition, to journey outside the Twelvesfoot, much less enter into Imperial territory, is a rare privilege afforded a Pajal. Not that I am tagging along to the sites, to see the sites. The Garleans would benefit from my healing and magics, as would other comrades should fighting break out. I hear you've got something for us. Here's your scales, my friend. Ah, them scales everybody's been talking about. Pretty little things, ain't they? Reckon they'll be worth a gill or two when this is all over, but we'll hold them on for now. And one th more thing. I know you what you're all thinking. Why didn't they send Inzar instead? Buggered if I know. All the Admiral and Captain Hilfer told me was they needed someone to help safeguard the future. And here I am. Can't say they haven't got a sense of humor. Of course, some of you might be wondering what good a pirate is on dry land, in the middle of the sodding snow of all places. Well, me and my crew will, will do whatever it needs doing. So, let's set sail, or whoever this, however the saying goes on airships. We heard it would be cold in Garlemont, so we came prepared. Okay, let's go and read the description of the scales. Um, these enchanted talismans, or should that be talismen, would probably require considerable, considerably less time and effort to produce if the alchemists of the great work were not so preoccupied with making them look pretty. Oh, the talismans. We are to keep these close to us at all times, yes? I will see that no one places theirs, misplaces theirs. Ah, and before I forget, I have a message from Hain. In distant lands, in times of strife, together stand, together fight. In darkness shines the light of life. I hope I have done his words justice. Doma, like much of Othard, has been plagued by the towers. Yet while he could not be here, he wished to express his shared conviction. Ayn and Yugiri labor without rest to unite the people and with their aid will we keep the enemy at bay. And we of the steppe and the Eastern Alliance will repay their efforts by ending this war. Do you have a warding scale for me too? There you go my friend. Thank you for this, and for going to such incredible lengths for the sake of my people. Though I have little to offer in return, I would impart some advice, if I may. You have been told by many to wear the coal of Ilsebard, and I cannot stress enough that this is no token warning. I will be distributing specially made warming tinctures, courtesy of the alchemist skill, but understand that they are no substitute for proper protection. I leave the provisioning of said prote protection to your discretion. Now, let us proceed to Alamegan Quarter. While you make your final preparations, I will have the pilots ready the airships. This is our last chance to make ready before we set forth. You needn't worry about Oriangir and I. We still have what we wore in Garlemont before. Astinian claims to be quite warm and toasty beneath his armor, and since he spent a fair bit of time up north recently as well, I have no reason to doubt his words. Most of the others will be borrowing grand company stock. The rest of you could do other likewise. I suppose, provided you're not overly concerned with style. 
Hmm, not to put too fine a point on it, but I wouldn't be seen dead in one of those ridiculous overcoats. If only I had time to find something to my liking. Hark! Is that the cry of the scions in need of a tailor, I hear? But, but how? Muhahaha, <laughs> I have my ways. Oh, yes, indeed. You thought you could sneak off to Ilzebard without telling me? Ah, nothing escapes my notice. Now, you will wear these garments I made for you, whether you like them or not. You never cease to amaze. But why do you need a new outfit as well? Wait, are you coming with us? What? No, of course not, silly. It's all in the name of fashion. Rather, the pursuit of the highest quality fashion. Besides, how can I expect others to wear my creations if I've never worn them myself? Ah, I did have one other thing to share. Erg Mehaes and Blue Menwaira have finally returned from assignments in faraway lands. They'll be staying at the Rising Stones for a while to keep an eye on events throughout Eorzea. Since they'll be running things back at headquarters, I was wondering if I could lend a hand in Charleian? Oh, why not? You can keep Krill Company in the Baldesian Annex. Yes, we'd love to have you there. And I heard Ermahas and Blue Invira, how do you say this name? Did a fine job carrying on in our stead. While we were lying comatose, with them in charge of the rising stones, we got nothing to worry about. My thoughts exactly. Also, while I'm confident you won't go collapsing again, because a certain someone who shall remain nameless isn't in a position to transport your souls to another world, if anything similarly disastrous were to happen, I'd be well positioned to do something about it. Anyway, I've got a few things to take care of, and then I'll make my way to Charleian. I really do hope these new clothes are enough to keep you warm in Garlemald. It's not much, but it's the only thing I can do for you, other than pray for your safe return, which I will, every day. Let's not keep the contingent waiting any longer. Here you are with your winter woolies, handcrafted by yours truly. Right now, before we move on to the next quest, let's try out these new clothes. It's a chest. Is that it? Custom made. Ro no. Ah, there you go. North Sea. Oh, looks pretty. Uh, they weren't kidding. That's quite big. Unable to die preview. Let's do that. Ah, oh, I'm getting cropping issues, it seems. Cool. Look at that, Santa Claus. Nice. Okay guys, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and let's go to Garlemont.